Hello everyone and welcome to Tarotary channel. Today, when we'll consider the meaning and character of Pluto's archetype, I will follow the lead of Richard Tarnas, a distinguished philosopher and cultural historian, to analyze these principles in three different senses. In the Homeric sense, as a primordial deity and mythic figure, in the Platonic sense, as a cosmic and metaphysical principle, and in the Jungian sense, as, as a psychological principle with its Kantian and Freudian background. I have gathered information from two amazing scholars that have analyzed in depth the lit literature on Pluto and came up with insightful consideration that I would like to share with you all. These are Richard Tarnas and Rem Butler, and the books that I referenced are in the description box below. Pluto, also known as Hades, the Hidden One, was the god of the underworld in Greek mythology. He was the son of the titans Cronus and Rhea, and his siblings are Zeus, Poseidon, Hera, Demeter, and Hestia. Pluto was the lord of the dead and presided over the souls of the departed below the surface of the earth. As a reminder, Zeus was the chief deity. As he defeated his father Cronus, he became the ruler of the sky. He rewarded his brothers Pluto and Poseidon with the rulership of the, the underworld and the sea, respectively. As a mythic figure, Pluto is the commander of the subterranean realms. He was the master of ores, metals, and the precious stones found within them, making him the bringer of wealth. Here are some of the most well-known myths associated with Pluto. The abduction of Persephone. When he fell in love with Persephone, the daughter of Demeter, Pluto abducted her and took her in the underworld to be his wife. Demeter, who was the goddess of the bloom and the harvest, was devastated by the loss of her daughter, and in desperation she neglected her care for the nature, causing a famine on earth. Pluto is a stern figure and and Persephone was reluctant to care for him at the beginning, refusing to eat. Pluto tested her willpower, showing her that he was a fair but implacable negotiator. He promised he would release her if she was not appropriated any part of the underworld while she was there. Giving to her needs, though, Persephone ate some seeds of pomegranate, chaining her to her destiny through her own self-doing. Zeus was asked to intervene and negotiated the deal in which Persephone Persephone would spend half of the year with Pluto in the underworld and half of the year with her mother on Earth, which gave us the changing of the seasons. In the long run, Pluto and Persephone remained the most united and loyal couples on Olympus. Orpheus and Eurydice Orpheus was a famous, charming singer and composer who traveled to the underworld to retrieve his wife Eurydice, who has died. Pluto, sitting next to his own wife Persephone, was moved by Orpheus's talent and also grief, and agreed to let Eurydice return to the land of the living, but on the condition that Orpheus not look back at her until they have left the underworld. Unfortunately, Orpheus could not resist and turned to look at Eurydice, causing her to be trapped in the underworld forever. Pluto is always testing the virtues of everyone who he makes deals with and always keeps his promises. His will is implacable but fair and allows the other party to co-create its destiny. Theseus and Pirates Theseus and Pirates were two young hotheads that decided to take Persephone as their wife. They traveled to the underworld and asked Pluto for her hand in marriage, Pluto agreed in his usual managed manner to the proposal. He tricked the young humans and trapped them in chairs with snakes wrapped around them. They were eventually rescued by Heracles. Sisyphus Sisyphus was a cunning king who tried to cheat death, but was eventually tricked back by Pluto and forced to stay there forever. He was punished by by rolling a boulder up a hill on to have it roll, roll back down again for all eternity. Socrates says about Pluto that the office and name of the god really correspond. Pluto is the perfect and accomplished sophist and the great benefactor of the inhabitants of the other world. And even to us who are upon earth, he sends us from below exceeding blessings, for he has much more than he wants down there, Wherefore, he is called Pluto, or the rich. 
Pluto was a feared and respected deity in ancient Greek mythology and his power over the underworld was absolute. His myths and legends continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. Richard Tarnas summarizes beautifully the consensus of modern astrologers when he writes in his book Cosmos and Psyche, Intimations of the New World, the following. Pluto is associated with the principle of elemental power, depth and intensity, with which, which compels, empowers and intensifies whatever it touches, sometimes to overwhelming and catastrophic extremes, with the, with the primordial instincts, libidinal and aggressive, destructive and regenerative, volcanic and cathartic, eliminative, transformative, ever-evolving. With the biological processes of birth, sex, death, the cycle of death and rebirth, with upheaval, breakdown, decay and fertilization, violent purgatorial discharge of pent-up energies, purifying fire, situations of life and death extremes, power struggles, all that is titanic, potent and massive. Pluto represents the underworld and underground in all senses, elemental, geological, instinctual, political, social, sexual, urban, criminal, mythological, demonic. It is a dark, mysterious, taboo and often terrifying reality that lurks beneath the surface of things, beneath the ego, societal conventions and the veneer of civilization, beneath the surface of the earth that is periodically unleashed with destructive and transformative force. Pluto impels, burns, consumes, transfigures, resurrects. In mythic and religious terms, it is associated with all myths of descent and transformation and with all deities of destruction and regeneration, death and rebirth. Dionysus, Hades and Persephone, Pan, Medusa, Lilith, Inanna, Isis and Osiris, the volcano goddess Pele, Quetzalcoatl, the serpent power, Kundalini, Shiva, Kali. In the archetypal universe, Rem Butler really exposes the principles associated with Pluto as the process of breakdown, destruction and creation in the universe, impulses towards regeneration and transformation, purification and purging, profound evolutionary forces, but also brutal and ruthless behaviors, driving obsessive energies, the underworld side of the psyche, volcanic feelings. The archetypal complex related to Pluto is behind the evolutionary forces of breakdown, renewal and regeneration in the universe, manifesting as our impulses to heal and transform ourselves and the world around us. Whereas Saturn signifies death and dying, Pluto represents death and rebirth subsuming the final endings associated with Saturn in the compelling creation of new life and new forms. Tarnas recognizes that the dynamic stage of birth labor with the proposal down the birth canal and arousal of intense driving energies is an important manifestation of the Pluto archetype in human life. Pluto represents our struggle to confront and transform the shadow side of our psyche, which for many people involves working through leftover physical and emotional traumas, such as events in childhood or the life-threatening experience of birth with this deep imprint of human vulnerability and mortality. To the individual ego, Pluto's effects can feel ruthless and brutal. However, like the overwhelming contracting forces of the mother's veering body, they are a necessary part of profoundly liberating process. It is important that we face and allow Pluto's powerful energies to be expressed from our system in supportive healing sessions rather than acting them out harmfully in the social world. From the transpersonal side, we could speculate that Pluto, as well as certain features of Mars and Saturn archetypes, represents aspects of shadow within absolute consciousness itself that Grof calls cosmic shadow. These negative and destructive forces liberate, uh, liber deliberately set in motion during the creation of the universe seem to be a necessary component in the cosmic game, helping it to keep interesting. <laughs> 
Without the dynamic and ever-changing energies associated with Pluto, the, the physical universe like absolute consciousness itself would remain eternally static, unchanging and predictable. In the Cosmos and Psyche, Tarna says again, with respect to Pluto's discovery as a small planet in the Cupid belt, a region of the solar system beyond ne Neptune, the synchronistic phenomena in the decades immediately surrounding 1930s and more generally in the 20th century include the splitting of the, splitting of the atom and the unleashing of nuclear power the titanic technological empowerment of modern industrial civilization and military force, the rise of fascism and other mass movements, the widespread cultural influence of evolutionary theory and the psychoanalysis with their focus on biologi biological instincts, increased sexual and erotic expression in social mores and the arts intensified activity and public awareness of the criminal underworld and a tangible intensification of instinctually driven mass violence and catastrophic historical developments evident in the world wars, the Holocaust and the threat of nuclear annihilation and ecological devastation. Here also can be mentioned an intensified politicization and power struggles characteristic of the 20th century life, the development of powerful forms of death, psychological transformation and catharsis, and the scientific recognition of the entire cosmos as a vast evolutionary phenomenon from the primordial fireball to the still evolving present. Finally, in tarot, Pluto is associated with transformation, death and rebirth, and the deep psychological process. The death card in the Major Arcana is associated with the transformative power of Pluto, but also the implacable nature of this archetype. Pluto in Tarot offers insights into the mysteries of the universe, of the human psyche. Thank you so much for being here with me and have an amazing day.